Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of shooting at home and I'll tell you a bit more about it when we get into the video. I apologise for the backdrop being all messy but it is my home kitchen and I do have three children. But let's get into the video, roll intro. So today I'm going to be trying to shoot like a commercial coffee campaign just for myself, just for doing a little bit of home studio type work. I don't have a studio at home, but today I'm going to be using my espresso machine and I've got the 45 to 100 on the Fuji. I've also recently bought some cheap extension tubes from... Viltrox, I think it's called, and I'm going to be testing them out to see how good they are at letting me get some close-up shots. Um, right now, just trying to get the, fo the camera focused and see where we go from there. So I'm going to set this down and start doing a little bit of work and hopefully I can make a decent video for you. So let's get into it. Okay, so I think I'm set up and just about ready to go. I tested the, the extension tubes and I've went with the 18 plus the 100 at the 100 extension um, and that lets me focus in quite close to one espresso cup um, and I've got some other colourful cups in the background to try and brighten up the shot. Um, the espresso machine I has is a two pour into um, a two spout pour so I might end up doing a couple of shots with a single cup and then with two cups and then once I've done that, I'm going to do some flat lays in the living room. I've got the boom arm out and we'll set it up and just try and do some simple shots. Okay, so what I've had to do is I've had to go and get just an A4 sheet of paper because the window light's quite harsh and it's washing out um, my cup there. So I'm just going to get the A4 piece of paper and just come in and watch where the highlights are stopping and getting blown out and take a few more shots like that. Take one just now. Take another one. Now I have got it on self timer just to stop camera shake. And that looks a thousand times better. Right, well, I had to scrap the extension tubes because it was giving me too shallow a depth of field, so I had to move back a bit and I'm going to have to crop into the shop. Um, I tried my best to focus in on the, the front edge of the cup and the, the coffee going into the cup. Um, I don't know if I got the shot, but I'm going to have to wait to get it on the computer. But now I'm going to set up my boom arm and stuff and try and get some flat lays. So I've set up the home studio in my living room kind of thing and it's taken me a little while to get everything level because the floor's carpeted. So if you're ever doing flat lays, you've got to try and make sure that your camera is level and that the surface is level because if, if you're doing any sort of close up work close on, it will look askew and it'll look wrong. I've got it as close as I can in the home studio it's not perfect, but this isn't for a client or anything. So I'm just going to show you that just now. It's just behind me. So I've got the boom arm set up and I've got my camera on its tripod extended and I've actually got my camera bag. I don't know if you can see it there. 
used as the weight um, to make sure it doesn't fall over. So the boom arm has a weight on it anyway, so that stops any falling over from that. But to get all this set up and what I would say investing in is a decent spirit level that you can use on your camera and on a table and stuff. A small one like this and get a bigger one for doing the surfaces and stuff and then just get yourself set up if you want to try this as well. Um, as I say, I'm still t making the video just yet so I don't know if that first coffee shot um, works or not but I'm going to be doing a few small flat lays just to see how I do it. It's the first time I've tried it so hopefully I get something. So this time I am definitely using the extension tubes. I'm going to start with the 18mm extension tube um, the 45 to 100 set at 100 with the extension tube and I'm probably going to go for about an F11 and um, hopefully that should all work out on the flat lay um, so let's get into it me finish taking the shots I don't know if I got the shot I'm sure even though I measured and measured and measured things weren't perfectly level it's quite difficult on a carpeted floor and especially in this flat where everything's lopsided anyway um, but I'm going to put them on the computer and um, but first I need to download I think it's OBS software and try and do a bit of work on the computer with you and let you see the process of maybe turning it into a, a small advert Let's get into it. Okay folks, here we are in Lightroom. I've done a quick selection. I've just rated the ones that I like. The first shots that I did in the kitchen were a total washout. None of them were truly sharp and the depth field was off. Um, the extension tubes just didn't work. Um, I would need to buy a macro lens which I don't have the funds for just now. So let's get into what I've got. So I've got some, I've got the first flat lay here just to the espresso itself and I've got it set up in Lightroom so it keeps the camera preset. Now with the Fuji 100GX it shoots in camera Provia or however you pronounce it standard and what I'm going to do is I am going to change the exposure I'm going to bring it up half a stop to see how that looks I think that looks much much better I'm going to bring the clarity up by 25 and I'm going to zoom in and see how that looks. Yeah, 25. 25 looks good to me. So that's how we're looking. It's not too bad. I've got to go into Photoshop and take out this little bit here and we'll do that in just a second. I'm just trying to see if I need to adjust any more. I don't tend to play with any of the colours or any of the hues or anything like that because I'm actually colour blind and I can't tell true um, if it's true colour or not. So I'm going to leave that. I'm just going to be looking for any little spots. So I need to clean up this here, here, here and here. So let's go into Photoshop and do that just now. And we'll just wait for Photoshop to load up. I apologise, but I'm just opening up a bottle of sparkling water. Hopefully it'll open up quite quickly. I've got a lot of things running in the background, so oh, here we go. Dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum. As you can see, I've been working on a few images there. Sorry for the language if you're reading that. 
and I'll be working on a few things for my shop, some apparel, if you're interested. Um, I'm going to speak about speak more about that in a short video I'm going to put up not long after this one, or possibly before this one. I haven't decided yet. Okay, so first off, let's get rid of this. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to this, circle it around because I don't want to see the camera in there, and I'm going to do a content aware fill, and that should pretty much quickly take it away. Yep, as you can see here, it's completely got rid of it. One go, didn't need to worry. Sorted. So now I'll just get the healing brush and go around and just get all these little hairs. Actually, well, I need to flatten the image first. Um, layer, flatten image. Uh, hopefully you can forgive me because I don't know all the shortcuts. But yeah, I'm just going to quickly go around and touch all these little spots up that you can't see with the naked eye, but you can see on the computer which drives you insane just these little little tiny hairs that you see all over the place see there now obviously I'm doing this very quickly if it was for an actual job it would be a very different story I'd probably have a I'd probably hire in a retoucher if it was a proper commercial job because they are much better at this than I am. As you can hear, I'm still using a mouse. I've not even just not even bothered to get my my pad out. Um, I don't have a however you pronounce it, Wapcom or one of these uh, pressure pads that you use the pen with. Um, I've got an off-brand one. Does exactly the same job. I've used used the uh, the main brand before, but I got an off-brand one for about I think a hundred quid, and it worked just as well as my super expensive one. Um, because I broke my super expensive one by um, spilling water on it, and I couldn't afford to replace it at that time. So I'm just having a quick look here. These little dimples on this cup. Now I know it's not perfect, but it doesn't look too bad. I mean I know it's just a simple shot there, but we can work on this. So I'm going to save that as it is. Now what I'm going to do is I also use another program called Exposure. Now I know they've got Exposure X6 out now um, but I don't really need to upgrade because I only use it for a few of their presets. They have a lot of film grains in it for black and white and colour and I think they're, they're, it's absolutely fantastic if you just want a, a quick overlay to uh, work from, to start working from, um, it really really helps it, especially when you with landscapes and you want that velvet colour, I mean it's got it right there. So I mean you can see the difference in colour there. Just makes everything just come up that little bit better I think. So I've got a choice of loads of different colours. If you This isn't sponsored by the way, um, it's just a piece of software that I've found over the years and I've, I've kept using. Um, I'm just going to see what looks best. So I quite like the Kodachrome 25 with a little bit of sharpness there, so I'm going to take that one and all I'm going to do is go and save that and hopefully that'll, that'll be my final part of editing the actual image and then I'm going to put on some text on it just for a little coffee advert and let me know what you think so I'm going to stop the recording here and um, just go back, well, start speaking in front of the camera. Um, I'm going to put up this picture first and at the end of when I'm speaking I'm going to put up my ad in 
please let me know what you think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below. Um, and yeah, I'll leave it there. This is my first time using OBS, so hopefully it was okay. Uh, I have no idea yet. Well folks, today has been an absolute nightmare for photos, um, my excuses are I was in a rush, I didn't pay full attention, I'll try to do better next time. What I did learn from today is my extension tubes are no substitute for, actual, for an actual macro lens and I will be hopefully investing on them in the future. Um, what I will say is one of these little spirit levels and a bigger one is necessity when you're trying to do flat lays. Um, unfortunately, like I said, I've got a carpeted floor. I'm trying to get this table level and getting the camera level is a, it took about an hour in itself to do. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up the, the ad that I did. It's not very good. It's just a quick one and the rest of the shots from today. Um, if you liked this video, please like, comment and subscribe. If you dislike, you can hit that button as well. But I just want to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye bye.